Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, uh, you wrapped up the regular season this past Saturday. Uh, you played FDU here at home and uh, had a pretty complete 34 nothing win. Kind of got a little bit of everything from all three phases of the game. Yeah, it was exciting to watch. You know, we get a special teams touchdown, a defensive touchdown, and obviously you know, the offense had a solid day. So it's, you know, I, we've talked about it all year, you know, playing team football and everybody's kind of contributing, and it, and it really was on display Saturday. Yeah, and I think one of the things that was important to that is obviously you know, you're playing a team that's kind of in the mix for postseason contention. Obviously, you'd locked up a spot, but you were able to kind of set the tone early and kind of put them away and maybe demoralize them a little bit. Yeah, I think, you know, for us, I, I, I don't know that we ever feel like we've put somebody away. Because, right. you know, again, for us, it's, you know, how how well can we play? Yep. You, you know, it's 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 that internalization that to me is the most important, you know, that we want to be the, a better football team every single week. And I think we were able to, to do that on Saturday, yep. you know, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. Yep. You know, their performance was, uh, all, you know, historic in, right. in a sense and, you know, breaking several records and, um, you know, really happy for the seniors to go out that way, yeah. and um, you know, just a just a really really good team win. Yeah, yeah, and obviously the defensive effort. You know, giving up just forty five total yards. I mean, that's one of you know, if you look, it's one of the top performances in Division three this season in the whole country. Absolutely, and and again, you know, hats off to Coach McCray, Coach Nelson, um, and obviously you, you know the players. You know, it was it was it was a complete effort on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah. Now this week, before we get to uh, this week's game, um, you know, all conference stuff came out on Tuesday. You had twelve guys honored. Um, you know, just talk about kind of their season and kind of you know what it means for them to be honored and you know to be recognized. Uh, you know, it's, for some of them, it's it's the culmination of four years of hard work. For others, it's um, you know some recognition a little bit earlier in their careers. And um, you know, we we had some conversations about that stuff yesterday and. Um, you know, I think our perspective on those things are it's nice to be recognized, um, but again, it's 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 about the team and right. you know an individual award like that. Again, it's nice to have, yeah. but I think you know our guys understand that without the ten other guys out there, they wouldn't have the opportunities they've had to make the plays that they've right. been able to make. So um, for us, I think it's it, it's important to keep those things in perspective mm -hmm. and understand what they mean and certainly down the road they'll be more meaningful for them right. but it, but it's our hope and and i think we're there to look back and and feel like you know we i was part of something special from a team perspective not necessarily an individual award perspective yeah absolutely and obviously being uh part of something from a team perspective obviously you get that chance this weekend um qualifying for the centennial mac bowl series for the second time this straight year in the postseason um and you play a susquehanna team that you know, statistically looks very similar. Um, it's kind of played well down the stretch, similar to what you have. So, look, on paper, it looks like it should be a good matchup. I think it's going to be a good football game. I, I know I, I'm excited. The staff's excited. That, uh, you know, they're a good football team. Um, I think we're a good football team. So I think it's, you know, it's going to be a good a good ball game. And, um, you know, their resume is solid. You know, you, you look at... You look at their body of work on a whole, and I think they've played four overtime games this year. Yeah. Uh, knocked off Johns Hopkins for their first conference loss in a number of years, and um, you know we're, we're excited for the for the matchup for sure. Yeah, and obviously, you know, it's always nice to be able to play somebody different in a postseason scenario where you get a little different look and a little bit of uh, you know different perspective than playing you know some of the MAC teams that you play year in year out. Well, it makes things a little bit stressful on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. <laughs> I can tell you, you know, it, it, it is always interesting. Um, preparing for somebody you, you you've never seen before, yeah. um, you know there's not you you don't see the patterns in the scheme, you right. don't see the patterns in special teams things, and you know it, it presents its own unique set of challenges, and um, you know it's one that that you, you know I love this time of year. I, yeah. I, I get excited for for the postseason. Uh, we talk often, you know, with the guys in the program about meaningful games during the month of November. And that's why you train hard in February, right. you know. So this is an opportunity to play a very meaningful football game in the month of November, and you know, against a, a formidable opponent. And then, you know, like I said earlier, we're we're very excited for the matchup. Yeah. All right, coach. We'll wish you the best of luck this Saturday, and um, we'll chat and wrap up the season here soon. Thank you, sir. All right. For Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.